back to No Context Britain, a series in which we take a look at the best of Britain. Right, so I've seen this tweet during the rounds. Manchester's first alcohol-free bar, Love From, opens its doors at campus this weekend. Hey, I'm Carl. I'm the founder of Love From. Love From is Manchester's first alcohol-free bar. Okay, I mean, it's a nice idea, I think. I don't know. I feel as if people are going to go for, like, an alcohol-free drink. They're going to go to, like, a cafe or something instead or a restaurant. I get the idea. It's a nice idea. However, when you, when you look later in the video, where is it? When you see the menu and the prices, oh, my days. So for an alcohol-free beer, it is five pounds. Five pounds. Pounds. But, uh, I, I don't even understand why you would drink alcohol-free beer. Beer tastes horrible, right? Like, I really don't get what you get out of alcohol-free beer. Eight pound for a non-alcoholic. Was there an eight pound one? I didn't see one that was eight quid. I think those were the, the cocktails, but still, eight pound. Eight pounds for an alcoholic drink on its own is quite a lot. Eight pounds for a non-alcoholic drink? No way. No way. Even the higher echelon of, like, non-alcoholic drinks, milkshakes, should not realistically be above a fiver. Ask my dad why he doesn't just use the microwave to warm the sausage roll, but apparently it's not the same. <laughs> There's an art to it. But with the, with the radiator. That must take fucking forever. What the fuck? British power outlets best in the world. Absolutely. If you've ever seen the Tom Scott video about British power outlets, you'd agree. There's something we all take for granted over here in this country. And when you go over to like Europe or America, their, their plug sockets are so weird. Like it doesn't make sense. I don't know why other countries don't take a leaf out of the UK's book on this one. If we have to go forever, what the fuck is a Garibaldi? What the fuck is that? But for that, I'll get rid of the, the Garibaldi because I don't even know what that is. A ginger nut and a, a fox's crunch cream. To me, it's not, it's not even a competition. An endangered wimpy spotted out in the world. They are, they're good. All right, Wimpies are pretty good. I haven't had one in years and years and years and years. But I remember as a kid going to the Guildford Spectrum, if any of you ever went there as a child. And they had a Wimpy there. So I, I got, I'd go on like the, the slides and shit and then I'd, I'd have a Wimpy afterwards. It was great. I feel as though the business model just doesn't work because they bring it out on like plates and stuff. It's like an actual restaurant, but it's fast food. It's, it's weird. And also it's quite expensive from what I remember. Dear customers, due to circumstances out of our control, there'll be no ads or trailers so the movie will start at the time it says on your ticket. Apologies for any inconveniences cause. And the No Context Brits account says no need to apologise. However, I do think there is grounds for an apology here. Because I always turn up 20 minutes late to the cinema. Because I'm not sitting through ads. I'm not going to sit through 20 minutes of ads, okay? So I always turn up 20 minutes late. So I, I'd have missed a lot of the film if this if this was if I was in this situation. Council shuts down five-year-old girl's lemonade stand and finds her £150. Oh, that serves you right for operating without the proper licensing. You're lucky you avoided jail time on that one. But I just <laughs> Who's slapping her with that fine? Got a tuna butty bigger than my hand for two pounds. There must be free tins. What the fuck? I didn't even know they made bread that big. How are you going to consume that? That's enormous. It probably has its own center of gravity. Just in Vodafone down network crashes for thousands in the UK, including London. Based on your last call, how likely are you to recommend Vodafone to a friend slash colleague? Tech from the score zero, not likely at all to 10, extremely likely. So this happened to me fucking yesterday because they keep cutting off my phone because for some reason they decided not to set up a direct debit on my account even though i try and set it up but it's, it's it'd be easier to contact jesus than to contact a human at vodafone so every month they cut off my phone line i, I just wait for it to be cut off every month and then i try and call the number that i get texted but it doesn't fucking work because they cut off my phone line so i have to like borrow someone else's phone to phone up vodafone and pay my bill it's a nightmare i fucking hate them i'll show you the text so you know i'm not bullshitting one sec Look at that. It didn't say it. It's fucking useless. And that wasn't even when it was down. That's just that's just service as normal. Hi, Mike. I've been so horny since I've met you. I've never felt like this after meeting a guy. Sorry, who is this? I'm glad your phone is working. It's your window cleaner and you're due the past free cleans. Please settle your account before we pass it to the small claims court. Genius strategy. I can't lie. Farmer was offered cash and a night out at a lap dancing club if he agreed to have a giant wind turbine on his land. Nah, no, those things are fucking ugly. I remember I was looking at a house on right move as you do. I'm not I'm not even in the market for a house right now. I was looking at uh, this house and I was like, oh, this is, I think I've told this story in here before, but I was like, oh, this house is really nice for the price. Like, it, it's probably worth about, you know, like 1.5 times the price. I wonder why it's up for so cheap. I look at the garden, there's a fucking huge electricity pile just in the garden. <laughs> this is the type of leader we need at a time like this. Jesus would love and care the bullies, not like the dog killer Rishi Sunak. Uh, Alright then, okay. They fully lost their heads this last 
last few weeks, haven't they? British cuisine, best of the world. Do you want any more sausages with that? American here, how did I do? That actually looks banging. That looks sick. Only one hash brown though, do better. Also the sausages look a little overdone and so does the bacon. And I prefer scrambled eggs to fried eggs. That's just personal preference. Try to be fat and ugly, no, just be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of football left to be played. Keep out at sea. Who look good? You paid for Twitter. To be fair, so did you, Bristol City. You paid a lot for that gold check mark. I think that gold check mark is like 10 or 12 grand a year. So you, you cannot speak. DJ Khaled meets British guy called Tony. This is probably one of the best videos I've seen this year so far. So look, I just I just met this guy right here. The wit this is this is, this is my style right here. It's just <laughs> It's just like average British man. Hold on. This is my style right here. You know what I'm saying? This is Barbados. Oh, I was about to say, I'm genuinely curious as to where he's found him. Has he gone to like Benidorm or somewhere? No, he's gone to Barbados, which, I mean, does make sense. I'm just walking by, what's your name? Tony. Walking by Tony. Tony just swagged out like this with no shirt on. Yeah, he is. And he's in a suntan. Yo, I love it. No, this is, this is, I'm telling you, me and you, what's your sign? You sign, you sign. <laughs> Is he asking for a star sign? <laughs> you swagging like me. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good interaction. An empty jar for two pounds or an identical jar filled with jam for 29p less makes sense. Yeah, but okay, say you want, you need like, I don't know, five jars. Say you need five jars. You need to get that and then you have to eat all the jam or God forbid, waste it. Clean off the labels and everything and then you can fill it with the stuff you want. I feel as though you're paying 29p for convenience. It doesn't make sense though. Dad wears some <laughs> muscle to the pub and sips pipe through straw in solidarity with his XL bully. <laughs> Oh my god, seek employment, please. If humans can choose their gender, my XL bully identifies as a golden retriever. I think, I think I don't think you know what gender is, mate. Finally found a good use for the end piece of bread. Okay, I have a massive, massive grievance with this image. Is that a non-stick pan? That's a non-stick pan, and you're using a metal spoon. You know you're gonna scrape off the, the non-stick lining, and that, that can cause cancer. Tut tut tut. Don't do that. That's a that's a lesson you learned today. Don't use metal on non-stick pots some pans. <laughs> in London, you're free to be who you want to be and love who you want to love. Celebrating 10 years of equal marriage in the UK, unless you're an XL bully. <laughs> America's best value pizza has landed in the UK. Has it? It's a little season in the UK now. Customize online from the link below. And it's a, oh God, that is horrible. I mean, salt and vinegar crust does sound kind of hard. I don't know if it'll go on pizza, but mushy pea base. No. Stop. Me looking at the same fit I've worn all week. Yeah, I mean, why change it? But like, I go through phases where I just have one set fit and I'll wear that for like two or three weeks and then change it up. Don't fix what's not broken. We're number one. Yes, UK, we're number one. What's that flaming thing on the on the table? What the fuck? What is that? <laughs> what? What earth is that? <laughs> He's fucking claiming snooker again. <laughs> <laughs> Die! She's gonna fucking kill him. Wait. Fucking roast his head, Wiggly. Did he just sit down to have a roast dinner and then instantly fall asleep? There is not a morsel on that plate that was consumed. It's just all fallen on the floor. Break my Christmas tenner. All right, you know what? That 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 looks kind of good. I'm not gonna get shouted at. Actually, I don't know about the broccoli or the garlic bread, but I'm not a gravy man. I'm not a very uh, I'm not a gravy enjoyer. So that look that looks okay to me. Potatoes could do with a bit more seasoning, but other than that, you know, it's fine. Except for the garlic bread and broccoli, obviously. Sainsbury's cancelling my turkey crown pre-ordered on the third of December on Christmas Eve and all. So the ham joint, but replacing with four ham slices, absolutely appalling. <laughs> also, ham slices. Why are ham slices so exciting? I know there's two, there's a quantity of two of them. That's nearly a pound per ham slice. What the hell? <laughs> You're not on the naughty list. Instead of leaving out a carrot, just leave out your firstborn. Tattooed mum forced to watch school nativity play through window. I, I wonder why. You probably terrify the children. What on earth is going on there? Why have you got two Playboy tattoos? <laughs> England flag. This is an elite. Right. So. <laughs> 
I told my okay, so I told my friend who's not from the UK that I have like tin spaghetti and stuff. Like, I, okay, so if I feel as though I've been a lazy bastard in the day, I feel as though I don't like deserve to order food in or have like you know like a, a nice meal basically if I've been a lazy bastard. So a lot of the time I have like a tin of uh, spaghetti and sausages on toast, and he was so baffled by this idea of spaghetti and sausages in a tin. <laughs> Naughty little tenner from Brad. Why pose with it like that? <laughs> Merry Christmas to my wonderful brother and boyfriend. Yeah, I get what they were going for with this. It just didn't work though, did it? I don't know why they took the galaxy truffle from us. It was probably the best thing in the celebrations, Tim. Brand new Who Christmas Day. Ruined Doctor Who. Well done. Seems racist. Not racist. Although I am. <laughs> it's the fact it's LGBT get alive. He's honest, I, I guess. What the f for seven kilos of turkey is £147.50. Oh, okay. Serves eight to twelve. That is fucking expensive. When your family watch you crack open a beer and connect to the Bluetooth at 10 a.m. on Christmas Day. I know, I know it's like the excuse of, oh, it's Christmas, but I... I don't understand drinking in the morning. It'll just make you sad later in the day and tired and you want to go to bed at seven o'clock. Great start. Yeah, to be fair, that is absolutely unreal design. I'm tempted to have some hot smoked pepper mackerel fillets from Tesco now, even though I, I do not like hot smoked peppered mackerel fillets. My mate is at his worst Christmas dinner event in Nottingham and he just sent me this. Oh, and you know they charge you like, like, like 10, 15, maybe even 20 pound a head for a meal. Atrocious stuff. Fresh cuisine, best in the world. That actually does look kind of banging. That, that, I, I mean, the, is that ketchup? That's a little bit watery. That's uh, that's a bit grim. It looks like sweet chili sauce. But no, it's probably ketchup. But why have you? Why is your ketchup so watery? But yeah, that does look kind of banging. Who needs that about? <laughs> Do they take a celebrations, Tim, with them everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there for this video. Like and subscribe for Britain.